Welcome back to Lock and Reload. So I have a preliminary review on the NC Star 3-Day Assault Pack. And I went ahead in that video to state all the good points of this ruck and some of the potential uh, hazards of this ruck. Uh, basically, I went ahead and I didn't beat the crap out of it, but I just used it. I started off using this one earlier in the year, uh, latter part of spring, early part of summer. Um, I keep a lot of gear in it, but there are some design flaws that you know spark my attention. Well, I was a little bit accurate on those. Mind you, this is supposed to be an inexpensive option for going ahead and getting an inexpensive rock, but uh, and hopefully it would you know pass the. If I can't break it, it's a good product, essentially. Yes. So uh, a couple of things that has, have been happening, I don't know if you can see that, but I have a nice big gaping hole where the seam wore out because it is single stitch. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know, I can fit my fist through it, which is awesome. And then on the backing on the inside, where all the PVC is, I don't know if you can see that, it's actually wearing off. A lot of this is single stitch, and that's the one thing when I got it off of eBay, by the way. Uh, and again, it's made by NC Star. These are things that I, I didn't, I thought were going to be a potential problem. Well, I was right. The Molly rings, on the other hand, all the Molly rings are actually in good standing order. They are actually built well, considering they are double stitch, which just blows my mind. Everything else is single stitched, but that is, those are double stitched. Some of the pockets are actually double stitched. A lot of the pockets held up pretty nicely, but the actual, the actual pack itself, most of it is uh, single stitched. They use a very, very uh, light cordura, and uh, be, to the point where a lot of it is now transparent. Some of the uh, straps on it are starting to give. Uh, I know with this one right here is uh, because it is single stitch, it is starting to fray and starting to break apart. So these are my afterthoughts on this one. This is a good uh, three-day pack in theory, or it is a good three-day pack if you're using it occasionally. Uh, in other words, save your money, and I'll try to you know bring up some more inexpensive inexpensive products that I can go ahead and test out and honestly if I if I find a bad product because this isn't necessarily bad but they just need improvements on it. Uh, double stitching for instance. So uh, NC Star if you're watching this video do some double stitching and I and up, upgrade the uh, quality of material. Go to a you know 400 quarter or a thousand quarter of a nylon. Uh, you're gonna have greater results. I know these are inexpensive, but you know, charge you know five, you know five to ten extra dollars for them. You're gonna get a better quality product, and you're not gonna have me shooting a video on what went wrong with it. So we'll go ahead and uh, if you, this is a good option for a stowaway bug out bag, it's just not something you're gonna want to use every day. So again, this is just a revisit and after action report of the NC Star 3-Day Ruck. At any rate, this is Lock and Reload. As always, catch you later.